All right, guys. So today I want to talk about essentially how Apple has decided to do it again. And this has been out for a little bit. So I just wanted to review this when I'm saying did it again or do it again originally to give you like a little history lesson here while I'm sitting on a pencil that felt great. Originally, Apple had their iPhones. And if you did an update on it after replacing, say, the Touch ID or a screen or some ancillary part on the iPhone, it would bring. You would update it and then boom, all of a sudden, your iPhone was dead. It was one of the ways that Apple did it so that third-party companies wouldn't be able to replace parts on the iPhone. Wow, they're genius. Not only are they a big brother, but they're stomping the sisters and cousins and everybody else out there, right? So now I want to talk about MacBook screens. So MacBook screen replacements were in that same direction. Apple was like, how can I find a way so that third-party companies can't use non-Apple parts? Um, but you know what? They took it a step further. This time, any MacBook uh, or even let's just call it any Apple device, whether it's iMac, if it's actually iMacs have been okay, but for the most part, MacBooks. So any MacBook M2 screen actually has two serialization connections to them. So what that means is if you get, say, a MacBook screen that's still genuine, so you take a MacBook screen from another MacBook, like a brand new MacBook, right? You just bought it from Apple, got that brand new MacBook, let's call it MacBook A. And then MacBook B, which is also M2, let's call them M2, doesn't matter what the series, what the model number is, uh, 2685, 2141, you name it. And say like the number, letter B, MacBook has a bad screen, right? So you take a brand new screen from MacBook A and you decide to put it into your brand new MacBook that has a cracked screen. Should be fine, right? Nope. Apple found a way where it has serialized pretty much every part. If you put this screen that is brand new, brand spanking new out of the box and put it on your bad one, it's gonna have issues. And so issues might be, and we've seen on the top of the screen, it could be a black strip, like a black, almost a horizontal strip to it. We've seen also the webcam doesn't work sometimes. Also, we've seen bubbles in the back of the screen. They've gotten a little creative this time. There hasn't been like a brick or a not working thing, but it'll work, but it'll feel like you have a crappy MacBook because there's going to be some defect to it. And they want you to know that. In any case, I have in front of me here what we call polarizers, right? And on the bottom of the polarizer, you have two serial chips, okay? So these two serial chips, you found a way to be able to remove them and remove them from the original screen, say the crack screen or MacBook B in our instance. And we would take it from that and then put it on the polarizer. And then we would slap the polarizer on the back of this case, which is essentially the customers, all right? And then we'd seal it up. Sounds easier than said than done, but it's not because there's a lot of labor going on. There's a lot of sealants, there's time, but we can do it quicker than ordering from Apple and it's cheaper, right? Typically you would have to order from Apple, it takes about three to five days. And then from there, you could send back the other crack screen and hope for a refund or screen back or recycle fee, whatever they call it. But there is this way to do it. And yeah, it's more hoops to go through. And Apple is just the bane of our existence with trying to stomp out repair shops that actually do repairs versus just push new products. But I just wanted to talk to that a little bit. So just be careful. M2 screens, you can't just get third party or any like even a genuine Apple screen that's not serialized to that exact model. And there are some select M1 screens out there as well. So just be careful, look them up, make sure if it's serialized or not, so you know what you're up against. All right. I just wanted to go over that so you're in the know. All right. Thank you so much.